Question 1. What fraction of a clockwise revolution does the R hand of a clock turn through when it goes from A 3 to 9, B 4 to 7, C 7 to 10, 12 to 9, 1 to 10, 6 to 3? So, we have demonstrated the clock here which goes from 3 to 9. So, here you can see that it goes half of the revolution that is 290 degrees. Therefore, its answer is 1 by 2. B, 4 to 7. So, initially it is at 4 and it goes 7. It goes 15 minutes. Suppose if 4 was at 3 and 7 was at 6, it would 90 degree. So, it is one fourth of the total revolution. This is your B part. C, 7 to 10. Well, again, take 7 to 6 and 10 to 9. 10 to 9 and what you get is again one fourth of the whole revolution whole circle this is second this is third and this is fourth part so in this manner we can find what fraction of a clockwise revolution does your clock moves from 12 to 9 this is 12 and this is 9 this is the direction that is clockwise from 12 to 6 it is half of the revolution and then 90 degrees more that is 3 fourths of the whole revolution. Now the E part here clock goes take 1 to 12 and 10 to 9. So it will be again the same problem as was in D. So the, again the answer would be 3 by 4. F from 6 to 3. Here it is very clearly visible. This goes from 6 to 3. First 6 to 12 is opposite side. That means two parts and from 12 to 3 is one another part. It means 3 by 4. This was your question number one. Second, where will the hand of a clock stop if it? So these are the following questions. Starts at 12 and make half of a revolution clockwise. B starts at 2 and make half of a revolution clockwise. Starts at 5, make one fourth of a revolution clockwise. Starts at 5 and makes three fourths of a revolution clockwise. So all the directions are clockwise so this is how we will do it one thing should be kept in mind when we move three numbers that is like this one two three or you can say three hours you can take any direction clockwise or anti-clockwise or you can also say 15 minutes so like 5 10 15 similarly to the other side 5 10 15 we take 90 degree rotation you've got to remember this this also means one fourth of a revolution so, one fourth of a revolution is equal to 90 degrees or 15 minutes. So, we'll consider our first case. So, here initial was 12 and it makes half revolution that is 290 degrees. And also, one thing when the clock goes opposite, it means half of the revolution. So, in first case, it is at 6. So 6 is the answer. Now for the B part, the clock starts at 2 and makes half of the revolution. So again the same thing that is opposite side stops at 8. Third part starts at 5 and goes to 8. We will see by taking 5, 10, 15 minutes or 3 numbers that is 6, 7 and 8. It goes 3 hours. So it is at 8. Now the D part starts at 5 and it goes up to so you can do it other ways that is 15 minutes that is 6 7 8 is 15 minutes one rotation that means one fourth of a rotation and from then 9 10 11 another rotation another one fourth rotation then 12 1 2 another one fourth rotation this makes p fourth of the revolution so this is how you do question number second Which direction will you face if you start facing? So these are the questions. Based upon this, we will do our answer. So here this is the direction and sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So what we are given here, which direction will you face if you start facing east? So you can look at this girl. She is facing east towards the sun rising side and she makes 
half of the revolution clockwise. So she'll be at half of the revolution means opposite. So she'll be at best position. So this was your A part. Now B, east. Now she is facing east. This is your east again, same direction, and she completes one and half revolution. One means the complete revolution. That means she'll be at east. Then she takes half of the revolution. Half means again opposite. So she'll be at west. Now C part west. Now the girl is facing west, where the sun sets, and makes three fourths of a revolution anticlockwise. So this is your anticlockwise. So three fourths can be calculated as first opposite, that is from west to east. Then one fourth of rotation is left, that is she'll be at north. So this was your C part. Now the D part, south and make one full revolution. So she is facing south now and makes one full revolution. One full revolution means she will go from anti-clockwise or clockwise, direction doesn't matter. So therefore she will be at the same point because she is taking one complete revolution. Therefore she will get south. So should we specify clockwise or anti-clockwise? Well for this question it is not important. So this was your question number third. Question fourth. What part of a revolution have you turned through if you stand facing A. East and turn clockwise to face north. B. South and turn clockwise to face east. C. West and turn clockwise to face east. So this is your direction N E W S. You have to find the revolution you have turned through if you are facing at east. Now you are at east and you turn clockwise, you face north. So you will turn clockwise, not in this direction, this is anti-clockwise. You have to turn clockwise. So you will go in another direction, that means 3 fourth of a complete revolution. B part, you are at south and turn clockwise to face east. You have to go all through from west, north and east. You have to reach east in clockwise direction. So again, you have traveled 3 fourth of the revolution. You have traveled three right angles. Now you are at west and turn clockwise to face east. From west to east clockwise that means half of the complete revolution. You traveled two right angles or 290 degrees. So this is your C part that is half of the whole revolution. That was your fourth part. Question fifth. Find the number of right angles turned through by the hour hand of a clock when it goes from 3 to 6, 2 to 8, 5 to 11, 10 to 1, 12 to 9, 12 to 6. So these are the clocks and we have shown our hand of the clock. So first case it is at 3 that denotes 3 that is the initial point. Green denotes the direction and blue denotes the final position. So it goes 15 minutes or you can say one right angle that is 1, 2, 3. Therefore, 1 B part initial position is at 2 and it goes to 8. So 8 is opposite to 2, it means simple 2 right angles. Whenever there will be a straight line, it will mean 2 right angles. Then C part initial is 5 and 11, again the same situation opposite side that means 2 right angle turned. D part 10 to 1. So here initial position is 10 and we go 1, it is going 15 minutes or 3 hours. So it is 90 degree or one right angle. You can also do it as take 1 to 12 and 10 to 9. So it becomes very easy to visualize 90 degree angle. E part 12 to 9. It is very clearly visible. 12 to 6 will be half of the revolution or you can say two right angles plus one right angle has to be there. So it is total three right angles. You go from 12 to 9. This was your E part. F part from 12 to 6. How many right angles? It is very easy, half of the rotation, that means two right angles. So this was your question number five. We have found right angles for the following clocks. Sixth, how many right angles do you make if you start facing A, south and turn clockwise to west, 
north and turn anti clockwise to east, west and turn to west, south and turn to north. So, this is directional. This is your news, NEWS, that is directions, four directions we have in total. That's from where news word came from, NEWS. So, A part, you are standing at south and you have to find right angles you made. So, A is south, you are facing south and you turn clockwise to west. So, this is your clockwise direction. This is your anti clockwise. This is your clockwise. So, you made one right angle. So, therefore, the answer is 1. B part. You are facing north and you turn anti clockwise to east. So, this is your north and you are turning anti clockwise to east. That is, you go from west, then south, then east. That is, you turn 3 right angles out of 4 total right angles. So, this is your B part. C. You are standing at west and turn to west. So, here, important thing has to be noticed that we are given direction that is towards your west that is your left hand side will move anti-clockwise to west itself that is you will make one total revolution so you will reach to the same position that is you turn four right angles because four right angles are there in one complete revolution so their direction is important c that was your c now d south and turn to north you are at south and you go to north so you can go both ways that is clockwise and anti-clockwise direction doesn't matter north is opposite to south so what does it mean it means two right angles straight away so here clockwise and anti-clockwise direction doesn't matter because you are reaching to the north whereas it was not the case with c part because in c it was saying that you have to move from west that is your left hand side That was your sixth part. Seven. Where will the R hand of a clock stops if it starts from six and turns through one right angle, from eight and turns through two right angles, from ten and turns through three right angles, from seven and turns through two straight angles? So this is the set of clocks on which we will find our answers. We will take only clockwise direction. So first of all, from six and turns to one right angle. Initial is by red, blue is for direction and green is for final position. So from here we move 3 hours that is 7, 8 and 9 or you can say 15 minutes. One right angle that is you are at 9. Now from 8 and turn 2 right angles. Initial position here is 8 and you go to 2. It is very clearly visible that is it, that it is opposite. So it means 2 right angles and we are at 2. So 2 is the final position. This is your B part. Now see, from 10 and turns through 3 right angles. So here we are at 10. First of all, we can do it in very simple way. We'll go for 4. That is straight angle. That means 2 right angles. So we have completed 2 right angles. And we are left only 1 right angle. That means 15 more minutes or 3 more hours to reach you at 7. Therefore, the answer is 7. Now from 7 and turn through 2 straight angles. So at 7, 2 straight angle means we are going to make one complete revolution. That is, we are going to reach to the same position from where we started. That is, we make 4 right angles. First one is for 1, that is opposite side. And from then 1, we move straight angle again to get ourselves to 7. So this is how we do question number 7, E part. So that was your last question, question number 7.